Hello everybody, Loki Magics, another day, another video, and at least now we know why there is a undead samurai in the undead faction. I guess Saito was sent from the Shadowkin to investigate this world and somehow got himself killed. Hmm, pretty tragic. But anyways, the Shadowkin is now here, and we don't have a lot of champions, but I did pull this one right here, Boro, and there's only 102 reviews on her. And if you look, she looks like a fantastic champion, right? So, are these reviews accurate? I don't know. Let's find out. All right, so here we go. Oh, Burrow. Now, this champion, I gotta say, man, looks fantastic. I mean, she almost looks like a legendary champion. She has a lot going on, very detailed, lots of lots of just, just intricate, vibrant colors. Very, very beautiful champion. I have to say easily a 10 out of 10 and to top it off her animations are also pretty cool so overall this champion looks great but we always know looking great is only half the game what can this person do so let's check out her a1 all right so let's check out this a1 attacks one enemy has a 40 percent chance of placing six percent decreased defense debuff for two turns okay so that's the first part right you can see right here we're going to attack tyrell she only hits one enemy and the decreased defense was applied. Now, let's switch it up a little bit and throw in this team comp. Now you can see right here, we got a bunch of people with debuffs, but we're gonna put some poison with Tomb Lord. She has a whole bunch of debuffs, makes her really great for this scenario. And then Badel adds some more poisons, right? So we are clearly over for debuffs. And now Ouroboros is gonna do her A1 which will attack all enemies if they are under four or more debuffs. So you can see, boom, she applies decreased defense to everyone and attacks everyone, which is pretty cool. But it's kind of a waste of a turn because she has to go last and everyone else will attack without a decreased defense. So you're not doing a lot of damage. So I don't know if it's really a good A1, but it's not bad for it to be on A1. However, though, I will have to say that A1 is really good for clan boss because if you have a counter champion or you know if you're just using your A1 you can put that decreased defense on there consistently and then if you have someone that has weekend I'm using Arbiter here Arbiter has weekend on her A1 you can see that Orboro just put on decreased defense um, Arbiter didn't put her weekend on but you can use those two to get decreased defense and weaken, right? And that will boost up your overall damage for the clan boss. And also, I think this is a good time to talk about her A2 because her A2 does provide some clan boss utility. Now this A2 is pretty good because it attacks one enemy two times. Second hit has a chance to transfer all debuffs from the champion. The first hit has 75% chance of stealing all buffs from the target. So you can see up there, we got that annoying increased attack that thing hurts right so if you have a champion that could still bust like boom she just stole it it is perfect right so you can see or or burrow sorry has some clan boss utility she's not a bad clan boss champion but i wouldn't say she's like in game especially if you're coming up in the game and you have the champion there are some use cases for her for the clan boss so definitely consider her if you're lacking decreased defense and you keep getting crushed by that increased attack, I think Ouroboro will be a very good choice for you, but definitely not a in-game clan boss type of champion. All right, let's talk about her A3 and her passive. Now her A3 is pretty cool because she gets a 30% increased crit rate and a 30% increased crit damage, but if she lands a critical hit, you will get a perfect veil, which act activates her passive which will give you a revive on death for three turns. So she's about to get four busts very easily as long as she gets that critical hit, right? And it looks like she started off with her A1, which her A1 looks pretty cool. Here we go, her A3, critical hit, and you can see perfect fail and revive on death was applied. And look at that, A2, super fast, super smooth. I really do like her animation. And she hits pretty hard too, because look, consider the fact that none of these have decreased defense or weaken. She's hitting for 80k. 
she is a single target champion so she should be hitting about that right so pretty cool boom with increased attack she almost hit 100k so just imagine if these uh enemies had decreased defense a weekend i'm pretty sure she'll hit over 100k nice animation very fast and she hits pretty hard and i love her portrait i mean look at it it is pretty chill So that's pretty much it for her skills. Oh, I forgot her aura, which is actually kind of good. Increase ally attack and dungeons by 33%, which is pretty good, man. That is a big boost in attack percentage. But now let's talk about how do you gear this person, right? Because I, I think it could be a little bit tricky. If you completely ignore this decreased defense on her A1 and just focus on her overall damage, you could probably get her to hit a lot harder, especially if you do Savage Set. I kind of went with a mixture. You can see I have some Perception, some, I forgot what this was, Cruel and Immortal, right? And the reason why I did this was because I was trying to get like a balanced um, overall usage out of this champion. This is all her pieces and her stats. And uh, yeah, because if you could like not focus on accuracy, you could definitely boost other areas and, you know, get her to just be a one hitter quitter type of champion. But I think trying to gear her out to do everything, her decreased defense, and to make her fast and able to have good attack with some HP might be a little bit challenging. The only good thing she does have going is that since she has this A3 here, that increases crit rate by 30%. You don't have to, you know, get 70% crit rate on her, right? You could actually just get 55, yeah, 55% yeah, and you'll be good because she'll always have that increased crit rate on her from her A3. So that is one good thing about her, but this is what I went and with her and then if you want to just look at it on this format i made her a little bit slow so she could you know go last because what you saw earlier in the video okay and then for her masteries too i feel like her masteries can also be a little bit confusing or difficult depending on where you want to use her because once again if you're not going to use it use her for that decreased defense then you could just completely ignore this accuracy tree but i think getting Lasting gifts will benefit her because she does put a lot of buffs on her. Definitely something like Laura Still to get more out of your artifact sets. Um, this could help with landing that, um, uh, what is it called, that decreased defense or stealing buffs. So if you want to get Sniper. And then if you're going to use her for Clan Boss, definitely War Master. If you're going to use her for like Arena, which we'll look at next, maybe um, Hell Smasher. So it's really, really, really hard to say how to do her masteries. I just feel like what you saw with her gear and my masteries will be like the overall, I guess, general use for her because I know her ratings say she is fantastic across the board, but I don't know. I think she's average. I mean, I could be wrong. I just think she's a very average champion that could help early to mid game. I don't think she really stands out anywhere too much because she is a single hitting champion and all her buffs kind of go to herself so she's a very selfish champion too let me know if i'm wrong i don't know i just feel like she's okay but let's check her out in the arena and maybe my opinions will change all right so let's do some arena let's refresh the page and i guess we'll just go with these guys first and please excuse me, I know it's not Platinum Arena. We're just trying to get a feel for this champion. Kind of see how this works out. All right, so we put a Vel on her, so she instantly got a revive on death, but it was stolen. But well, that's all right. We'll see how this plays out here. I can't do nothing but her A1. All right. Um. Let's see, let's use her A2 and see if it steals her shield and then kills her. Actually, I forgot, she needs to be under a perfect veil to actually steal that buff, so Orbo just flat out killed her. But if she was under a veil, then I guess, and that kind of setup, I guess, Orbo has some use case. We should have went with Arbiter though, because Arbiter's gonna definitely revive everyone. Yep, just like that. We should have killed Arbiter first. But I'm pretty sure we'll win this. 
Man, I'm taking a lot of hit. Getting a lot of resist though, because Orboro does have some resistance on her. Let's see, we'll get her up with revive, and you have revive on death again. So that's pretty cool, right? I guess Duchess and her will make a nice combo. She dies, but boom, she's back up because I revive on death. And I think that passive doesn't have a cooldown. Now that I'm thinking about it, I think as long as, yeah, you get a perfect bell, boom, that revive on death, and she's back up. So in that sense, yes, she's kind of cool. Kind of cool. Now, I don't know if, you know, that mechanic is worth, you know, like building a team around. I would say no. But I could, like I said earlier, you know, um, what is it? Uh, early to mid game. I see the champion being very good. All right, so that's one win. Let's just do another one and see how that plays out. I guess we'll pick this team. See how this one goes. We're definitely going to go for Arbiter first. I'm going to put up our protection. Yeah, let's take out that Arbiter so she can't revive. And this is another thing too, like one downside about Ouroboro is that she's a single hit um, type of champion, right? So um, she doesn't, like she doesn't really do like a wide team attack. You know, just, I mean, she does enough damage to take him out, but it would have been nice if she had like an AOE, right? And so if you're going up against a, a team that has a whole bunch of revivers, Orboro would definitely not be the ideal choice at all. But she's doing work, even though this is an easier goat for it, but yeah, she's doing work. And yeah, this is a, a simple, easy win. It did take a while though. All right, so we'll just do one more I think you guys get the idea like Ouroboro isn't bad in the arena she's not terrible but will you use her in endgame I think she'll be very good early to make it I don't keep saying that but that's just how I feel about her I don't understand her ratings why it's so high but we'll try this team here oh man we got feared ooh knocked out from start a revive with revive on death, which is actually kind of cool, right? Oh, they took our bus away. Oh, this and block revive, and that's the thing we got destroyed, right? By an AOE attack with block revive, and that's the thing I'm trying to say about Ouroboro. Her being a single attack champion kind of hinders her abilities a lot but we, we can't go out like that so we're gonna have to switch out this team real quick and go back up in here and show them that loki magic is not gonna take an l like that right so let's use something like this where's my there we go he's my favorite dpser in arena all right so we're gonna boost put some protection on because mashalad is crazy with his debuffs and then we're gonna do an aoe with block revive bam see much cleaner i know not everybody has legendaries but just want to show you the contrast right all right so that is it for this video i think this champion is really cool but i think she's a little bit over overhyped in the rating section it's probably because she's new and you know er everyone is excited for the shadow ken and you know, when Faction Wars come out, I'm pretty sure she'll be useful with her abilities. But overall though, I think she's just average. I don't think she's that great. Maybe if her A2 was like an AOE and it stole everyone's buff or you know, something like that will make her a lot better. But as of now, I think she's definitely a cool champion and her use cases are there, but I don't think it's worth it for anyone to go out their way to six star champion. I don't know, you guys tell me, let me know. We'll catch you on the next video.